Hi, this is Chris with Ignite Studio, and I'm here to show you how to make a simple paper hanger using materials that you probably have at home. Um, this is something fun to do. Uh, I've done this to sort of decorate for a party or for holidays, um, and it's uh, basically just using a square or circular piece of paper, um, and you're turning uh, that into something that is three-dimensional. But I'm going to show you a few things that I made um, before with this technique. And I did a couple of uh, square designs. So you start with your basic square piece of paper. Paper. This is 12 by 12. Um, with this, I made some thicker, wider cuts. So this doesn't kind of hang as, as, as much as the other ones do. So just sort of keep that in mind. Um, but it still has that nice potential. And then for this one, I made my cuts a little bit thinner, less wide. And you can see with that, you can, that hangs quite a bit and makes sort of a nice visual design. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have with me um, pencil. I've got scissors. Um, the ruler is going to be handy for this. We are going to do some measuring. And then some fun piece of paper. Um, it can be plain. You could do this. I've made just sort of um, white lace hangers as well. But I'm going to use this blue paper for mine. And you can use um, kind of light cardstock or just really um, regular paper for this. If it gets too heavy, it gets sort of hard to fold and make some of the designs. So sort of a lighter cardstock or just regular paper. All right, so I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to make some folds on my paper. So basically, I'm going to fold corner to corner. And I'm going to make these creases really nice because that will influence the outcome of our design. OK. And then I'm going to make another fold. So I'm just basically making a smaller triangle here with this fold. And again, just make some nice creases there on the side. And then what I'm going to do is measure a uh, half an inch away from the edges. So I'm using my ruler. So I'm going to make a mark here, make another mark. And this is just so I can draw a straight line on the edge. And connect those two lines and make a line here. And this is going to be on your bottom side of your paper hanger, so don't worry about the marks that you're making with the pencil. And then I'm going to do that on the opposite edge. So we're not doing it on sort of the open folded edge. We're doing it on these closed folded edges here. So I'm going to make my two marks. One, and again, I'm going a half inch from the side. And my paper was about, this one is about 10 by 10. Um, so you can sort of adjust this. If you had a smaller piece of paper, you'd want these to come in maybe like a fourth of an inch. Um, but half an inch is good for this. And then what I'm going to do is measure at half inch intervals along each of these lines. So I've already got that one marked. So I'm just going half inch intervals. Three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, all the way down until I get to the very end there. And then I'm also going to do it on this side. And it helps if you sort of flip your paper like so. So we're at a right angle here. OK, so I'm doing my half inch marks, seven. OK, so now we have our marks. And so we're going to alternate um, making lines that connect to these larger lines that we made on the inside. So I'm going to go from this edge to this inside mark that I made. OK, and then I'm going to go from the opposite side here, so the outside edge to this inside mark. And so we're just continuing to do that. And now 
now we're going to cut on those lines. So I've got my paper here. So I'm going to cut just to that line where we drew. So that's where we stop. So that inside line. Okay, and now I'm going to flip this over and we're going to cut the other lines. Remember to stop and get to that inside line. And this gets a little trickier at this part. Okay, so I have all my lines cut. So we're gonna very carefully unfold this. Next, we're going to, there's two little pieces here in the inside. We're going to sort of fold those into each other. That's where you put your hanger or your paper clip. But I'm just going to pull it up. And we've got our lovely paper hanger here. So feel free if you make this at home, um, you could post it uh, below this video, um, or you can also um, get in touch with us via social media. But thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you find this a fun project.